everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Leonardo to make AI selfies. And on a scale of 1 to 10, for me this was like 1 being the worst. Uh, Mid Journey is like 10 being, I would say it's like an 8 out of 10. So this is maybe just my facial structure. Um, I know it really struggled with it. There are two different ways to teach uh, Leonardo to make selfies. The first one uh, down here at the bottom is when you upload a data set of a bunch of your different photos and then it kind of like makes one. I think mostly the AI skills inside of here um, just looked really bad, kind of like when you do AI in Canva. Um, it just looks kind of like comic-like, <laughs> like it just looks bad um, for whatever reason. And then over here, I don't even know what these are. These were supposed to be me. And then there was the character reference. That's the second method. And the character reference, um, for some reason, just kind of made me really, one, old, like super old. I don't know if it was like, we can just tell you're old, Lisa. I don't know, like added wrinkles to me and it made me kind of short and so I think it just kind of, the system must have recognized that I'm Asian and it gave me like this, the same Asian face, like no matter how many photos I uploaded as a character reference or how different they were, this same kind of woman came out every time. And then I was like, and then it even made me like, it gave me gray hair. So at one point I was like, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just really ugly. Um, and that's why it's just telling me what I look like. But then I did ones of Lucy Liu, who obviously is beautiful. And, you know, it made her hideous as well. So I don't feel as bad. <laughs> like, I think it's just Leonardo can't do Asian faces for some reason. Uh, like, this is supposed to be Lucy Liu. But for sure, um, when I uploaded people who were not Asian, it made them absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. <laughs> so I'm going to show you all of that today. So. Step number one is you have to pay for Leonardo. They have supposedly a free trial, but you're not going to be able to do anything with the free trial that we're going to do today. So I'm gonna show you the first method, which is um, just a, a character reference. So when you go into Leonardo um, up here, whoops, you are simply going to go to image generation on the left. And then from here, you're gonna hit this little uh, picture icon and you're gonna select, select character reference. Now you can upload any image you want. Here are some that I tried uploading. So we'll try uh, a, um, a non-Asian person because I think that will just work out better. Uh, so we'll do this one and we'll do that same prompt that I had over here, throwing flowers, I'll copy that and we can just see the difference. Now, it'll tell you over here it's gonna use 42 credits. When you pay the, I was on the lowest plan, so when you pay the 92, or sorry, $9, it gives you like 1,068 credits. Also, if you hit this little arrow button once you have selected a photo, um, you can say how much do you wanna use the reference? Is it low, medium, or high? Like how much do you want this photo to really represent the final end product? So you can see this woman, looks absolutely stunning. She looks gorgeous. Um, and I do believe that's because she is uh, not Asian. So I think it just has, the for whatever reason, Leonardo just does a better job with people who are not. Um, so even her running, she looks fabulous. <laughs> just super pretty um, and everything looks great. Uh, and then again, for some reason, when I, this is Lucy Liu running, um, over here. And then when I was running, um, again, I just don't, I didn't really like any of them. I don't know, but that's how you do a character reference. So the second method is you can do what's called, you teach it what you look like. So if you go back over here to the very beginning um, and you scroll down here to advanced and you go to training and data sets. So you can see over here, I've like tried to train the model. So just go ahead and say new data set and you can call this anything. It doesn't even matter what you call it. Um, you can say Lisa data set and then data sets description, this is me. It doesn't matter, no one's gonna see this but you. So you're gonna say create data set. Now here you're gonna have the chance to upload photos. So you're just gonna go ahead, upload photos. So I'm gonna go to documents. Here's all of my source photos. 
um, and I'm gonna upload all of these. Now, ideally, these would be 512 by 512 or 768 by 768, but if you don't have that as exact measurements, it will be fine as well. All right, so I have this. You can upload up to 40 images. Once you have all your photos uploaded, you're gonna click over here where it says train model. Now, over here, it really doesn't, again, it doesn't matter what you choose. The only thing that matters is the instance prompt. So what are you gonna call yourself? So um, I'm just gonna call myself Lisa um, Ellen, all one word. So I'm gonna say start training. And then when it says start training, it could take anywhere from a minute to 30 minutes, supposedly, uh, and it will send you an email once it's done doing that. So you can see I've done two data sets already, so we can just use one of the other ones. And if we go over to image generation, uh, we can go ahead and at the top right, go to legacy, because you're going to need legacy on the left to do this. And so we're going to go ahead and make sure photo reel um, is turned off. Um, so over here where it says fine tuned model, you're just gonna hit this drop down. You're gonna go down here to select other model and you're gonna go to your models and then you're gonna pick one of your data sets. So we're gonna say, this is the me data set, generate with this model. And then remember I called myself uh, Lisa Ellen, that's the one that wasn't done, but on this other set, I called myself Seifert. So we'll say Seifert sitting next to a pool at a fancy summer resort. Or I could try using this one, which is woman running in the woods. So we'll copy that. Seifert running in the woods with her Doberman dog. She is wearing a purple top and shorts. There's more recently. So you can see just kind of the variation on what these look like. Let's check out these photos. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and say that I don't think that looks like me. That face is all kind of all sorts of weird. Um, this face, uh, maybe it looks a little bit more like me. Um, and that face doesn't, that just looks like an error over there. And let's look at this photo. So again, this one is, in theory, would have been more flattering. The face is just all types of wrong. Um, so over here, same thing. It's wrong again. And over, whoops, over here, it's wrong. So yeah, you could upscale it, but quite honestly, I just don't even know what the point of upscaling this photo would be because it just looks so bad. Anyway, so, you know, it's just something that's just not going to work for my face and my structure or something going on over here. Uh, but if you would like to try Leonardo, and I strongly encourage you to do so because this woman turned out absolutely gorgeous. She looks fabulous in every single photo. And this was not an AI generated person. It was just a photo stock that I got from uh, Adobe stock, which I did make sure to say no AI image generated images. Um, so she looks amazing. So it could work for you. Uh, and again, if you would like a cheat sheet, I made a cheat sheet for Leonardo on what to download, where everything is, and I will leave that in the link below. Uh, and I hope everyone's having a great and fabulous day and start to their weekend. Bye. <music>